sounds like Barkley. All right, championship weekend in the NFL. It's been a great fucking playoff so far. I can't wait to get to this. Once again, I get all my numbers from Bet365. Let's kick things off in the NFC because I really want to talk a lot about the AFC game at the end. Green Bay, seven and a half point underdogs at San Francisco. Green Bay, seven and one against the spread versus teams with winning records. San Fran, five and one against the spread versus teams with winning records. To me, this is going to come down to Zedarius and Preston Smith, along with Kenny Clark. Can they get pressure on Garoppolo in his first playoff run? He showed that he could do enough. They really had a balanced attack last week in their win. So can he get it done in the second game against the Packers? The Packers experience. Rodgers one of the most experienced and smartest quarterbacks in the NFL. One of the smartest and greatest I've ever seen play. Will he have another stinker against San Fran? Like... Where was it? Uh, week 12 when San Fran destroyed Green Bay 37 to 8. Green Bay had all sorts of O line issues. I, I think they're, oh, who was the guard? They played like nine snaps for them or something like that. And then he was down. Aaron Jones couldn't get anything going. Rodgers had his second worst QBR rating of the year. It was something like 12 or 11.8 or something ridiculous like that. Then on the flip side, you got. Ford and Bosa and the the rest of the five first round picks that San Fran has on that D line, they really applied the pressure to Rodgers and the Packers in the last game, took advantage of all the injuries that Green Bay did have. San Fran is five and two against the spread at Green Bay. Uh, five of the last six games, Green Bay won. However, were by one score. A little fun fact. Green Bay coach Matt LaFleur's brother is the 49ers passing game coordinator. So they're kind of going to be going against each other. And how well does one brother maybe know the other brother a, a little better than the other? Are they going to play to their strengths? Uh, how much will that play a factor in the game is more of a fun fact than anything. I think I like Green Bay to cover this game. I just I don't know if they can do enough to beat that San Fran defense. I think San Fran wins the game, but Green Bay can definitely keep this within a, within a touchdown or less. So San Fran to win Green Bay to cover. Now, this fact is courtesy of John Breach. Before the Titans this year, only three teams had ever won multiple playoff games in the same postseason with 100 or fewer passing yards. All three of those teams, they went on to win the Super Bowl. That was the 72 and 73 Miami Dolphins and the 1974 Pittsburgh Steelers. And Ryan Tannehill has not passed for over 100 yards yet this playoff run. Derrick Henry has been a machine. He's rushed for, what, at least 180 yards in both playoff games. It, could he beat the AFC Championship game record? That's like 204 yards or something. Uh, he does have a chance, although it's hard. Derrick Henry... Versus the Chiefs run D, the Chiefs allow 4.9 yards per carry. Derrick Henry averages 5.9 yards per carry. The Chiefs' last loss was to Tennessee in Week 10, 35 to 32. Henry ran for 188 yards on just 23 carries. That's an 8.2 yards per carry average in that game. Mahomes versus the Titans pass D. Mahomes has 321 yards and five touchdowns in that big comeback win last week against Houston. Uh, Tyreek Hill, Kelsey, you name it. They got so many weapons on that team. Uh, Tennessee 5-0 against the spread their last five road games. Tennessee 6-0 against the spread their last six road games versus winning teams. Tennessee 7-1 and 1 against the spread versus AFC opponents. Kansas City 6-0-1 against spread in their last seven games. In this head-to-head -head matchup, the underdog is 4-0 in the last four games. Tennessee is 4-0 against the spread their last four in Kansas City. Tennessee is 5-1 against the spread in Kansas City. Sorry, 4-0 their last four versus Kansas City. Um, the road team is 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 meetings head-to-head. -head. This game should be a lot of fun i'm looking so forward to watching this game to me this is the game of the week 
Wednesday, you got the McGregor fight in the UFC this weekend. Oh, it's good. just an amazing weekend in sports. You'll have the Raptors, Leafs, whatever your hockey and NBA teams are, whoever your fans of out there, I'm sure they're playing, although NHL is getting close to their bye weeks for some of, you, some of the teams there. So some people won't see their teams for eight or ten days or until after the All-Star break. This game... I, I love Tennessee to cover. I don't think this game is more than a field goal game, no matter who wins the game. I predicted Kansas City, uh, before the season started, would meet Philadelphia in the Super Bowl. So i am got to stick with what I said at the start of the season with Kansas City to win as much as I love what Tennessee is doing. Tennessee will definitely cover this spread, and I would not be surprised if any of these four teams ended up facing each other in the Super Bowl, or any of these four teams won their games. So that's my picks for the conference championship games. Peace.